This is our technique for botulinum toxin injection for digital ischemia. The following technique is off-label use of botulinum toxin. Botulinum injection is used to treat vasospastic and occlusive disease of the hand, often in patients with Raynaud's disease or Raynaud's phenomenon. It is also indicated for impending tissue loss or rest pain refractory to conventional medications. The inpatient setting is for acute ischemic events and as a bridge from IV to eventual oral therapy. Outpatient treatment addresses chronic disease, offering adjunctive treatment alongside oral medication in the hope of ameliorating vasospasm and avoiding the morbidity of surgical sympathectomy. Outpatient insurance authorization is often a lengthy process. This must be taken into consideration in patients with impending tissue loss. This is a patient with scleroderma and Raynaud's phenomenon with notable digital ulceration and trophic skin changes. She was admitted for acute exacerbation of bilateral digital ischemia. Treatment was initiated with IV fentolamine and alprostadil, which improved her symptoms of rest pain. Botulinum injection was utilized as an adjunct to bridge from inpatient IV medication to eventual outpatient therapy. Feel free to pause the video to ensure the necessary equipment is available. The key preparatory step is ensuring proper dilution of the botulinum solution with normal saline. Various dilution options exist in the literature to create the desired botulinum toxin concentration. These can be titrated at the surgeon's discretion depending on injection location and tissue compliance. Our preference is a concentration of 10 units per cc. This will now be demonstrated. 10 cc's of normal saline are drawn into a 10 cc syringe. This is injected into the 100 unit botulinum vial, creating a concentration of 10 units per cc. The combined solution is then drawn up and ready to be injected. Some authors advocate selective injection of only the involved digits, while others recommend complete hand treatment even in the setting of localized disease. Our practice is complete hand treatment with eight injection sites for inpatient acute ischemia. This photo with superimposed digital vasculature demonstrates the locations of the eight injection sites relative to arterial supply. We use six injection sites on the volar hand to treat the base of the thumb and common digital arteries. One cc, or 10 units, is injected at each site. Feel free to pause the video to look back at this as needed. An additional 2 cc's, or 20 units, is injected over the radial and ulnar arteries proximal to the wrist. The key distinction is the radial and ulnar arteries receive 2 cc's each, whereas the 6 volar hand sites received 1 cc each. After sterile prep, we begin by injecting the thumb and progress ulnarly across the palm. However, the particular injection order does not matter. Web space injections are given proximal to the A1 pulley. Penetrate deep to palmar fascia before injecting to ensure the botulinum reaches the arteries. Most patients tolerate the injection, but it can be quite painful. Consider topical lidocaine or even a lidocaine wrist block prior to injection. Avoid ethyl chloride for skin anesthesia, as this can exacerbate symptoms. Radial and ulnar arteries receive 2 cc's each. Palpate if a pulse is present and aspirate prior to injecting.